Welcome, in front of me is a Realme 12 Pro and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So to get started, let's open up our settings. And I'm going to start off with the wallpaper and style category. And in here we have a bunch of different things that you can customize uh, for your device. We have things like icons, so here you can change actual like, icon packs. Now you do need to have uh, installed ones if you want to use different ones as there is a limited amount of them provided in here. As you can see we have only like three to choose from but like I said if you download some additional icon packs from the Play Store they will show up right here and you can change them. We also have things like fonts, um, always on display, things like colors. Here you can change the colors that you see right here so by default it's blue there's a nice option right here to be tailored to your wallpaper so i'm gonna i'm gonna select this one so just to show the wallpaper that's kind of wallpaper that, I, wallpaper that i'm using so it's trying to adapt colors to that uh to the colors of that wallpaper if you change your wallpaper the actual colors will change as well so that's also pretty nice now we have additional things like edge lighting, fingerprint animations, and so on. So you can go through these and find which ones you like to change. Now, uh, going a little bit further down, we have the home screen and a lock screen. And in here we have a bunch of different things. So number one, we have things like the home screen mode. We have drawer mode or we have the typical like iOS-ish mode if you want to utilize that, which is called standard for some reason. You can just change to whichever one you prefer. Then scrolling further down, we have things like swipe down on home screen. And here we have global search. I personally like to select it to be notification drawer. So whenever you swipe down, you get your notification drawer and you don't have to go from the very top to actually get it anymore, which is very convenient. Then below that we have animation speed. You can change it from medium to fast. Uh, now there is also another place you can change animation speed, which would be the developer options. If you find that the difference right here is very minuscule to you, you like I said, you could navigate to the developer options, which you can enable by uh, like tapping on the build number seven times and you will find animation transition scale, animation duration scale and animation something something. Uh, there's like three in a row and they're always set to 1x and you can change it to 0.5x, which will uh, basically reduce the animation speed by half, giving you much faster animations in general. Now going now to the notifications and status bar, here we have additional things that um, Realme has, which are pretty almost unique to this brand. Uh, that would also include things like the, there's also only like three additional brand that do this, which is allow you to hide different toggles from your status bar. I personally hate the toggles to be visible, so I like to turn most of them off and only keep like the most important ones as honestly it doesn't serve any purpose. Unfortunately right here we can't hide the uh, Wi-Fi which is one of the things that I would like to hide as it's always on and I don't need to know that it's right now enabled and that I have reception. I know. Um, so that's a bit disappointing. But anyway we have also additional things like the battery style. Uh, for some reason we have right now the percentage outside of it which we don't have the option right here, but we have it below. So you can, for instance, change it to show the battery percentage inside of the battery, making it a bit cleaner. Now, next we have the um, icons. And here you can compound the icons into just a number, which again, adds to that cleanliness to your device. And I personally like to make it look as minimal as possible. Now, that being said, it shows you a number, but when you pull down your notifications, obviously it gives you all the notifications. Now, Android isn't necessarily the greatest when it comes down to giving you notification information. As you've seen, there were only two icons. It's showing me two, number two. I have four notifications right here. Um, and it's not always like that. Sometimes you might have four notifications. It will give you uh, number two, but show you, for instance, three icons or vice versa, which is kind of odd. In any case, moving on, last thing that I want to show is the 
under additional settings gesture navigation under system navigation now i already have it enabled uh, you can swap between these two modes so gesture and button navigation uh, but one more thing that you can find in here when you have your gesture enabled is hide gesture bar again it just gets rid of this bar at the bottom which serves no purpose it's just like a visual indicator um, while you hide it it still works the same exact way so there's no point for it to be visible and additionally below that we have uh, options to increase or decrease the sensitivity of a back gesture this one uh, when you start fiddling around with these sliders it will there we go show you a blue line so your finger needs to st start the gesture from that blue line to the outside of it to activate a swipe back uh, and if you find it that sometimes you just can't get it to activate even though you're swiping maybe make it bigger for instance uh, selecting it too high or vice versa if you activate it by just trying to swipe across uh, and that's not what you wanted to do to basically go back then make it lower which will decrease the size of it and make the actual back gesture uh, it will be required to be a little bit more precise but there we go those are all the tweaks that i wanted to show you so if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching